talking his way out of court, willing to compromise anyone to get out of trouble. Thank God for real justice. Nico here. I'd uh, like to take you out. Seeing you would make my week. Pick me up in the next hour. I'll be there in the next hour then. I want to go. Here we are, man. End of the line. I guess your pills ain't working, lady. Well, you know. Hey, Nico, is your car around here somewhere? Does your other whore like the new WIs? Has a very busy pretending to console the family. How's it going, Nico? Fine. Are you though? Are you really? Sure, I'm fine. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. Just sometimes I feel like I can't do enough though. I feel like I can't help people as much as I want to be able to. Yeah, you can't help everybody. You can try. Most of the people from my law class just went to big firms on the exchange to make their millions. I wanted to help people. That's why I do pro bono work at City Hall. I defend the people that the rest of the community has forgotten about. It sounds as if you're being as helpful as you can be. If I got hauled down to City Hall, I'd be grateful for your help. Yeah, I guess I do make a difference. I feel like all my life I've been given things by my parents. Cars, clothes, my apartment, my education. I help the people who haven't been given anything. I represent the people who can't even help themselves. It might be because I feel guilty, but is that a bad thing? Am I doing it for the wrong reasons? It doesn't matter why you do something, as long as it's right. Thanks, Nico. Here we are. Great. Also, Thanks. We spoke with Magellan. Now you may remember Magellan from the 80s. His European is Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ricky Gervais. Hi. How are you doing? Cheers. Thanks. I have been known to have a go at fat people. But the truth is, I'm a bit overweight myself. Oh, shit. <laughs> Someone shouted, no shit. Could be that. <laughs> 40 years build-up. I actually had to have a medical for this tour. And I've had medicals before for TV work, and I just check your pulse and go, you're fine. But I went along to the doctor, and he said, uh, oh, it's a bit more thorough than usual. You know, it's a big tour. We need a urine sample. I've never had to do that before, so... Uh, you know, I went to the toilet, filled up this little bottle he gave me, good as gold, gave it back to him. He went, oh, can you strip down to your box of shorts? I thought, this is thorough. So I stripped down to my box of shorts. Oh, for f... The one day I wear white box of shorts. Big wet patch from the wee. <laughs> well, why didn't he warn me? Why did he say, be careful, I'll be checking for stains in a minute? Do you know how... So embarrassing, there's nothing I could do. Uh, I told my friend, and my friend went, you should have gone commando. Well, that would have been less embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> so now I strip down to my box of shorts, and I go, oh, God, I've wet myself. What can I do? I know. <laughs> go commando. Do commandos not wear pants? <laughs> Why is it called go commando? They must wear pants. Are there any commandos in, do you whip? Why are you not wearing pants? What do you mean, cos we're commandos? They're gonna see that, at least camouflage it. Put it up. Well, now it's getting bigger. Why is it getting big? Look, there's barbed wire up. You're gonna lose it. Pop it away. Go, commando. But I am a bit overweight. 
I never worried about that before I was famous, and I'm not more vain now. It's that you read about yourself, and the papers, they need an adjective. They can't just say Ricky Gervais comedian. They say things like Ricky Gervais, tubby comedian. <laughs> Why bring that into it? Ricky Gervais, rotund comedian. <laughs> rotund? That sounds like a giant fucking wombat. I'm not rotund. One called me a chubby funster. That's a gay porn name. I was jogging once, listening to some sounds on my MP3 player. Oh, yeah, looking good. Paparazzi got me. Full page in the paper the next day, with a headline, I Podge. <laughs> Cheeky bastards. Thanks very much. Good night. Now that I have brought you back here, are you going to invite me in? It's been so hard resisting you. I'm so pleased that it's time. Okay. You can prosecute me anytime. Oh, Nico. I love you, Nico. Darling. He is very intense. You can't wait five minutes, can you? Wait. Hey, buddy. Wait. Where are you headed? We'll be there in no time. Online dating service. Sleep with many men. I'll clean out the squatters for you, no problem.
knows this city better than me. Great, thanks. This way. Javier! Bitch, you don't get it. It's Javier. It's pronounced like an H. Javier. Yeah? What you mean, bitch? I won't have no bitches calling me bitch, bitch. Whatever, Yavs. You're in it. If you're looking to get some wood, you're gonna have to wait. Jesus test drives all the new bitches. This is for Dwayne. <laughs> Nobody's gonna be partying up in your club anymore. Playboy ain't gonna be happy. What do you mean? He still did business with the gangsters that took over. Screw that. They fucked me, they fucked. Right? Playboy gonna feel that shit. Sure thing, man. We have a billion down. Uh, 11 more... Take you. Father to son. And sometimes while inebriated, father to I want to go. Cocaine. This is it. Thanks. A thousand forms to fill out. Gastric bypasses. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did Virgin of the Year? Yeah. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho ho, there he is, Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off. <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here. But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico. 
Some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister. Lovely lass, scared to bits of life. And fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick. Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Family. Where can I take Let's you? Let's get into the 21st century here. We really need to move so. beyond. Okay, there's a ship. End-to-end -end sustainable solutions to healthcare challenges and viable idea. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. We're going this way. about this shipment. If it's just fish, I'm gonna be pretty irritated, Pecky. This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here, while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful.
because you fell down. We mustn't become a nation of hypochondriacs. Just because you have insurance, why use it? All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. Stuff all in there. Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. A lot of wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico! Come over here. You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man. Hi there, Nico. How about you pick me up, you take me out, you treat me good, okay? I like the sound of that very much, Carmen. Wait for me at your place for an hour. I'll get ready. So, you got it. Thank you very much. Nice new shoes, baby. 
And the hey, where you going, are man? an argument in the tavern. Oh no, a woman. So, uh, take me to Tulsa Street, you please. You got it. it. We're happening right in front. You. I Here we are, you. man. If End of the line. The spirit will translate it for me. Have you ever? Move, idiota! Shit, that's yeah. crazy, man. <laughs> As they say here, you suck. What the fuck is this shit? Hey, you're not a Russian man. We have two great acts coming up. First. The Incredible Climax! Welcome. I am constantly asked, Kleinman, when did you discover you were magic? Have you ever used your powers for good? Like making cancer patients or nuclear warheads disappear? One man even asked me, can you make my masculinity disappear? But I am here to entertain you, not your by curious fantasies. I will now make my assistant float. I will defeat gravity. I will be the master of Isaac Newton. Now, Arise! 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 Yes, there, there! Higher, higher, lower, higher, lower! Ah, yes, I can make this filthy woman fall under my dominion! Oh, arise! Yes! Suck, Eat shit! Ah! Oh! Oh! Laurel! Laurel! Oh, 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 you're a quadriplegic. Oh, don't worry, everybody. Uh, she's probably only a paraplegic. Now let's hear it for Miss Bluesy Saint John! Welcome. Welcome to Mama's Little Show. Yeah, play it, Al. Play it. Al's a fine piano player. Pre-recorded because his union got a little mouthy and greedy, so we sing to his CD now. But I still feel like he's here in spirit. I have a little song I want to share with you. It's about something that's happened to us all. No, no, I'm not talking about getting sandwiched by two Lebanese train porters in the caboose. No. I'm talking about losing your baby. You know, they get picked up by a stranger on the way to go to school. And then you grab a bottle of gin down from the dusty cupboard where you put it. And you wake up in the sterile belly of a spaceship. And a man comes over and looks like your father. And you realize that day your dad disappeared. He didn't leave your mom for the fat bitch at the gas station. He was abducted. And your captors put you down in a farm field laid out night somewhere in Iowa. And they painted patterns in the corn. And the crickets are singing. And the cows baying in the distance. And your backside hurts something fierce from the probing. Woo! And the Holy Ghost is there too. Man, the Lord has a ghost. And there's a girl on a swing set. And you go push her off the swing. And you know what? We're all that little girl sometimes. Sometimes life pushes you off a swing Or makes you a little girl Even when you're a little 